Welcome to this UniLogic tutorial. UniLogic is the complete application development environment for our Unitronics Unistream control platform. Hello, my name is Ophir Levy. I am an application engineer at Unitronics. This tutorial is about integrating Unistream and EXRC1. The EXRC1 is a remote I.O. expansion adapter that enables you to access I.O. modules at distances of up to 1,000 meters, easily integrate I.O.s for load cell, temperature, and additional analog and digital I.O.s. In this tutorial, we will learn how to integrate the EXRC1 into a Unistream application. The Unistream control platform product line is not yet complete. However, Unitronic's existing EXRC1 remote I.O. adapter and existing range of I.O. modules offer the full range of I.O. features required by control application. The EXRC1 adapter enables you to distribute I.O. expansion module throughout your system. The adapter communicates with Unistream devices over CAN bus via UniCAN Unitronics Propriety Canvas Protocol. Each adapter may be connected to up to eight I.O. expansion modules. You can exchange two types of data between Unistream and EXRC1 devices. I.O. data to and from the modules that are connected to the EXRC1. General buffer data. This option enables to send and receive a 16 register long vector of data. These vectors are part of the data struct that Unilogic creates for each EXRC1 that is included in the project. Now, let's see how to implement this type of application. This requires only three steps. Export EXRC1 operand files from VisiLogic, set up the Unilogic EXRC1 project, and map the data structs in VisiLogic. The first step is to open VisiLogic, the programming environment for the Vision Series. You must use version 9.5 or later. VisiLogic can be freely downloaded from our website. I've already opened an example application of the EXRC1. In the hardware configuration, I configured IO DI8 TO8, which includes eight digital inputs and eight digital outputs, and IO ATC8 that has eight analog inputs or thermocouples. Now, we will export the entire EXRC1 hardware configuration to a file. We'll call it EXRC1 HWC, or hardware configuration. The canvas ID of the EXRC1 is set via deep switches on the adapter itself. The canvas baud rate must be identical in both EXRC1 and Unistream. The baud rate for the EXRC1 is determined in COM init module to Unicam. In this example, the EXRC1 baud rate is set to 500 kilobit and its ID is 2. Let's open UniLogic. In UniLogic, we will set the canvas baud rate from the Solution Explorer, PLC Communication, Physical, Canvas. We'll set it to 500 kilobits in the Properties window. Let's select the remote I.O. from the Solution Explorer hardware configuration. We can see that by default, the Unistream Canvas ID is 1. Now we'll click 
add new EXRC1. In the properties window, we can set the EXRC1 ID, we'll leave it as 2, and select the general buffer checkbox, which enable us to exchange another 16 register to and from the EXRC1. In VisiLogic file property, we will import the file we've just exported from VisiLogic. After import is complete, you can see in the main window the EXRC1 I.O. modules, which was configured in VisiLogic. The I.O. structs have been created automatically, including their description. The next step is to export mapping of the inputs and outputs data structs from UniLogic. We will press on the export button in the EXRC1 properties window. Please note that for each 16 register length of data, we will have a separate file. Let's go back to VisiLogic. In subroutine in, we will open the struct function and import the inputs file. We'll select the Inputs folder. As you can see, the inputs data and vector address MI1016 are set. Now, we'll need to press on Compile to check the data is valid. The inputs data needs to be sent from the EXRC1 to Unistream using the UniCanSend function. Let's open Unican send function and set the following. The destination ID is the canvas ID of the Unistream, which is 1. The source start address is the start address in the struct function. The destination start is also start address in the struct function. Length is the number of MIs in the vector. In our case, the length is 9 MIs. Now, we will import the outputs file to struct function in subroutine out. We'll select import. Now we'll choose the output folder. And as you can see, the outputs data is imported. The outputs data will be sent automatically from the Unistream to the EXRC1. We finished configuring the IO data, both Unistream and EXRC1. If we select to use the general buffer, the output array of the general buffer struct will be set automatically to the address MI1144 in length of 16 register. And in order to send data from the EXRC1 to the Unistream, we need to include in UniCanSend function the data to destination address MI1000. This concludes this tutorial about EXRC1 and Unistream integration. You can find more information and example applications in our website. Thank you for viewing this tutorial and we hope to see you again.